Okay, first thing you want to do is go into your mouse that you've created a pre-comp with all the mouse. Then you're going to click on the uh, make a node layer. And then once you've made a node layer, you're going to go into Duic Angela and click on the gear next to connector under links and constraints. Then click on layer list. Make sure that you have the node layer highlighted when you click on layer list. Then you're going to highlight all the uh, layers for the mouse and click on connect opacities. And then once you've done that, then you're going to check to make sure that the mouse are working. So as you can see, the drop down is working. Then you're going to go out of the pre comp and then you're going to highlight the comp and then you're going to extract the controller. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you try to do this without this one step. So when you click on extract, nothing happens. The reason why nothing happens is because your uh, drop down list is not a controller. So you got to highlight the null layer and then click on tag as controls. This will turn the uh, layer green. Then you go back to mouse, click on extract, and now you have the controller outside of the comp and you'll be able to use the mouse. If you got to brain it back even further, just do the same steps and then it's going to brain the mouse back into the main comp where you can see the face and then as you can see the mouth is changing. This is the same exact process if you're doing any type of rigging in Duic Angela. That's how you extract controls. If you have any additional questions let me know but that is how you do lip sync. At least setting up the lip sync. Everything else is pretty straightforward. I'll do a quick example on how this would work if you're lip syncing some animation. Uh, you can just click on the stopwatch next to menu and then hit the U key. And then once you hit the U key, you'll see that there's a keyframe made. So if you want to change the mouth to like a D and then you want to change it back to a uh, M. And then if we play this, you'll see that the mouth opens and closes just like so.